On Monday we talked about angles in parallel lines, but I realise I might have been jumping again a little bit because some of you might not be super confident about some of the more basic angle rules. So what I've got here um, is the exam board approved wording for the um, angle rules that you need to know. So these are the, the, the phrases that the exam board expects you to use. And what I'm going to ask you to do as the first part of today's work is either to print out the sheet I've attached, I've got a copy of it here, and annotate it, or in your notes, and I know nearly all of you, your exercise books are tucked safely in my classroom, I hope you've been keeping the notes that you've been using together in some way, but in your notes, um, making a note of these, and doing a little diagram to illustrate each one. So, for example, um, base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. So for that one I would draw a little triangle that is isosceles. I'll indicate it's isosceles with those two little dashes and um, I'm going to show that in that case those two angles are the same. Um, I might even add a little bit here. Angles in equilateral triangle are equal and of course they're all six, each 60 degrees aren't they? So. That's worth remembering. But I think if you could do a little diagram for that one, 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 um, that would just help reinforce it. This one here, um, I'd like to talk about briefly now. So when you have a triangle, and if you extend one of the sides, you get what we call an exterior angle. Now let's say I know that in this triangle, um, this angle here is 35 degrees, okay? And let's say I know that this angle here is um, 70 degrees. And so uh, 70 and 35 add up to 105. I know that angles in a triangle add up to 180. So I know this angle has got to be 75. So I can work out that third angle in the triangle but if I ignore the rest of the triangle, what I've got here are two angles on a straight line, and I know they add up to 180. So if that's 75, that's got to be 105, which is what those two added up to. To work out this angle, I did 180 take away 105, and then to work out this angle, I did 180 take away 75, which got me back to 105. So, so this rule is pointing out what might be the obvious result, that this angle here is always going to be the same as the two angles opposite it in the triangle. The exterior angle is equal to the sum of the internal opposite angles. It's a really complicated wording for a, a sort of common sense sum, so there you go, I've given you that one. Don't worry about polygon angles, we're going to come to that uh, shortly. Um, and there are the other three rules, so if you've made good notes from last lesson you don't need to uh, um, to use those. Co-interior is a phrase that um, it's a bit old-fashioned, but um, I tend to use allied for that. So I'm hoping that that's a good start. Little diagram for each of these angle rules, leaving the polygons out, and then we'll move on to the second page. So the second page has got three more angle problems. Um, and they involve a mixture of angle rules. So they're not just about parallel lines, they involve a mixture of the rules from that sheet. Uh, I'm going to work through the first one, and then I'm going to ask you to have a go at the second and third. And this, uh, uh, this time I will have opened up some missions on class charts, so I'd just like you to um, pop a, uh, a photo of your work on the, um, uh, onto class charts. Uh, you'll be pleased to see the two questions I'm asking you to do. It doesn't actually ask you to give reasons, just ask you to work out the angle, so there's no writing involved. But this one does say give reasons. Uh, so we're asked to find the size of angle F, G, D, right? F to G to D, that's this angle here. And I'm asked to give a reason for each stage of my working. Well, I know firstly, because I've got a straight line here, that this angle is 70 degrees. So I'm going to call that angle F, E, G. Angle F, E, G equals 70 degrees because, and then I go to my list and 
angles in a straight line add up to 180. Angles in a straight line, and I'm just going to put equals 180 because it's a bit quicker. I then know that what I've got in the middle here is an upside down isosceles triangle. I know it because of those two dashes. So if that's 70, that's also going to be 70. That angle there is e, angle EFG, E to F to G. That's also 70, and that's because, go to my list, base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. I then know that if that's 70 and that's 70, that makes 140. So this angle here has to be 40 degrees. That's angle E, G, F. And that's because angles in a triangle add up to 180. And you'll notice that, as well as writing, I'm annotating away. Now, here come the parallel lines. I've got an angle of 110 here. So that means that, remember we said about extending the lines? This is also an angle of 110 here. That's a corresponding angle. It's the same angle at that bottom junction. I also know, therefore, that this angle is... 110 because it's an alternate angle to that one. So these two angles together make 110 degrees. Now if that bit's 40, the bit I'm after is going to be 110 take away 40. So I'm going to write at that point a little sum. 110 take away 40 equals 70 degrees. And so the angle I'm after, angle F G D equals 70 degrees because of alternate angles. So I've done a little sum to show that I understand that those two have to add up to um, 110 and I know that I therefore can work out the missing angle. So these are frustrating aren't they? There's a lot of writing going on um, but, you know, that would have been a four mark question. One, two, three, four. With no writing, you might have got one, you might have got two marks. So it is important that you get into the habit of doing that. However, the two I've asked you to try are not explain why. You've just got to work out the missing angles. And they, again, involve a mixture of rules. Remember the, the uh, hint about extending the lines? That might be helpful. It's got some algebra here, but don't be confused by that. You know, you can work out the size of that angle. That will be what 25p is. So P, you just divide it by 25. So you've got two tasks for today, annotating uh, or making notes on the rules in geometry sheet, ignoring the polygon stuff for now and not redoing parallel lines if you made good notes on Monday. And then having a go at the two questions here and just submitting uh, your answer to those two questions using class charts, just send me a photo. And I look forward to getting those. Take care.